Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're just going to uh, give you a quick tutorial as to how to add uh, JavaScript placeholder uh, values into your form's input fields. Now having um, values predefined inside your input fields can be useful if you don't want label tags and want to perhaps ask the question for the field inside uh, the field itself or for example if you wanted to give an example answer as to what could be entered inside a field. Now it's very straightforward to put information inside the field by default when the page loads and that's by using the value attribute inside the input tag. So for example in our little form the first field is to uh, allow users to enter their name and the second one their email address. So that's very simple but from a usability point of view when the, uh, the user clicks inside these boxes You've actually got to remove the text by deleting it to be able to um, enter their response. So the ideal situation that we'd like to have using the placeholder um, technique is to remove the uh, text that's inside when you click inside the box, allowing the user to enter uh, fresh information without the need to delete uh, what's there by default. Now there's a great new tag in HTML5, the actual uh, placeholder attribute that does exactly this and it works uh, really well. The only problem with that is, is it's not um, cross-platform compatible, particularly with older versions of Internet Explorer and it's uh, so new in fact that it doesn't even validate at the present on the W3C HTML5 validator. So even though that, uh, that new attribute is becoming available in HTML5, you can actually achieve the same results with a very small bit of inline JavaScript on your input tags. So all of the code that we're about to um, write to modify this form will be available to copy and paste from our supporting blog post. And just to save time, instead of me uh, typing out and narrating it, I'm just literally going to paste it in as it's on my clipboard, starting with our name field. So the code uh, utilizes the onBlur attribute, which essentially says if the uh, value of the field, so when a user clicks inside the field, if they click back out of it, and it's empty, it will put back in for us the value your name. However, when they uh, click inside the box, that's using the onClick attribute, then it will remove the text form, allowing them to enter a value of their choice. So let's just save that and go back over to our live view. So your name, if we were to click inside the box, the information is removed, allowing us to type out data. If we click outside the box, the data is left in place, allowing us to go back in and perhaps put the surname in. But if we were to remove all the data, click outside, the JavaScript recognizes that the box is now empty and restores our default placeholder, your name. So it's very simple, once you've got the uh, code in for your first one, you can simply copy and paste it for any other fields in the form that you'd like to achieve the same effect with. So let's just copy this one, so your email. So there's three locations for it. There's obviously the initial value attribute, the on blur, and finally the on click. Okay, so nice simple way of having uh, really usable placeholders for your uh, input input fields. Like I said, all the uh, code we're looking at here is available to copy and paste from our supporting blog post. Thanks very much. If you have any uh, comments, questions or contributions, please leave them on our supporting blog post.